Hey y'all, it's your boy Jonas with buildingit.ai. There's been a lot of hype recently about Elon Musk's Optimus and the potential of this humanoid robot. And it had me thinking about the last 10 years of robotics research to see how does Optimus stack up against the other humanoids that are out there? And there are a few. I was kind of curious if the humanoids were gonna get into a fight, which one would win? Let's see. So first, there's a lot more robots out on the market than just Optimus today. There's companies like Boston Dynamics, which everyone knows is creating really cool robots. There's companies like Agility Robotics, which just closed a $150 million round of investment from Amazon. Of course, there's Tesla, and there's everything that Elon Musk has accomplished and is accomplishing. There's also projects that have been sponsored and that have made some progress, maybe even stealth progress, like Toyota, Dyson, and lesser known companies like Mecha Robotics and Hanson Robotics. So although there's several definitions of a humanoid robot, for the purposes of this video, we're defining a humanoid robot as a robot resembling the human body and shape. The design may be for functional purposes such as interacting with human tools and environments, for experimental purposes such as the study of bipedal locomotion, or for other purposes. In general, humanoid robots have a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs, though some humanoid robots may replicate only a part of the body, for example, from the waist up. So first let's start with Hanson Robotics and Ameca Robotics. Now, the folks that work at those companies may not feel or agree with our assessment of their robots to date, but we don't necessarily put those in the category of humanoid robots, or at least in the same category as the robots that are being built by Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and Tesla. These robots are really built to be animatronic devices. These are devices that mimic humans in their expression and their interaction. But these robots do not yet have a means of locomotion or serious means of interacting with their environments using actuators. So for instance, there's no arms that are appended to these devices that can be used for picking up and placing objects. There's also no legs that are able to be agile in human environments. For instance, some of these robot platforms have demonstrated the ability to be able to walk in a straight line on stage in a demo room, maybe even in an office space. However, if these devices were pushed, if they fell over and they had to get back up, there really is no system, no mechatronic system, nor any intelligence to enable them to be able to pick themselves up and interact with their environment in a realistic way. Now, one of the most interesting stealth projects is James Dyson's Humanoid Robotics Research Center that is in partnership with the Imperial College of London. Now, most of you guys know Dyson because you're vacuuming your houses with their vacuum cleaners. And I remember James Dyson's commercials that ran continuously around my favorite television shows when I was a kid for their bladeless vacuum cleaners and then their bladeless fans. James Dyson is now making a huge investment in the humanoid robotics space. And their company is really focused on robots that take away tasks from the daily things that we find mundane. Stuff like cleaning our tables, maybe even cleaning up the toys after your kids. That brings us to Toyota, who has invested a tremendous amount in robotics over the last 30 to 20 years and has released many prototypes of humanoid robotics as well as an invested in tremendous advancements in artificial intelligence and machine perception. Toyota recently released their TH3 robot and this was actually in 2020, so not so recent anymore. This robot demonstrated some ability to be able to maneuver in its environment, the ability to be able to perform tasks of agility in its environment, but struggled, at least to date, to demonstrate the ability to be able to intelligently interact with its environment on its own. As you'll see in some of the demo videos that we're showing, THR3 is really relying on the control from a human in order to be able to operate in its environment. Now, this is still a tremendous piece of technology and a really cool product because one of the biggest opportunities for robotics 
is in improving the performance of humans. Because a robot is operated by a human, it might be coupling its own intelligence with a human's intelligence doesn't necessarily take away from the functional value that that machine is providing. But for the purposes of our list of who would win in a fight, we can't give it to the THR3. Unfortunately, we've got to look at robots that can perform on their own. And there's some pretty impressive examples of robots that have the ability to be able to perform independent of any human input and be resilient. So, so far we've gone through Dyson, Toyota, Hansen, and Emeka, and none of these robots meet the cut. Let's see who's next. All the way at number three, we have the much hyped Tesla Optimus. Now, Tesla has demonstrated a very impressive technology stack, and much of that has been accelerated by the tremendous amount of work and tremendous amount of data that's been captured from self-driving cars and from Tesla's previous products. However, Tesla does not match up against the top two robots in our list. Let's look at some of the stats behind Optimus Prime and the reason why it falls short. Optimus has a height of around 173 centimeters. That's about five foot eight inches. Pretty impressive height. Its arm range is around a half a meter. Again, pretty impressive extension range. 73 kilograms, which is around 150 pounds. Packs an impressive punch. Now, Tesla Optimus's speed is estimated to be five miles an hour. Again, pretty fast. That's just a little bit below a human's jogging pace. Tesla's battery capacity? Well, we don't have any data on that, but Tesla has confirmed that nearly half of its vehicles being produced are using cobalt-free iron phosphate batteries. And we know that Tesla has made a tremendous amount of progress in the battery life and lifetime of the batteries on its electric cars. Now, the payload of Optimus is also pretty impressive. In fact, it's one of the largest payloads on our list. The ability to lift 40 pounds, 20 kilograms. Well, Optimus, again, is a pretty heavy duty robot. We don't have any specific stats on the battery capacity for Tesla's Optimus, but we actually don't really have any official stats for the Optimus as of yet. Although the Optimus has been under development for about two years, it has not yet been fully realized as a product. To date, we're still seeing demonstrations of the robot's technology stack and promises of the robot's performance, but similar to some of the other products released by Tesla, there's often a disparity between what's promised by Elon and what is actually delivered. There's also a disparity in the time in which we're expecting the Optimus to be released as a product by when it was promised to us. So for now, it's really hard to say that the Tesla can stand up to anybody because Optimus ain't even here yet. Well, it's now getting serious. We're down to the top two humanoid robot platforms that are currently on the market and it's either going to be number one or number two but boston dynamics atlas robot fell to number two on our list boston dynamics robot is maybe the most impressive specimen of robotic agility that's been built to date it can do almost any trick back flips front flips, jumping on trampolines, and running across monkey bars. With a standing height of around 1.5 meters, Atlas is pretty impressive. Not as tall as Optimus, but it's here. The arm range of the Atlas is three quarters of a meter. The weight of Atlas is pretty heavy. It's 90 kilograms, almost 200 pounds. And its max speed is 2.5 meters per second. And the speed, of the Atlas is pretty impressive. It's 2.5 meters per second, which translates to around 5.5 miles per hour, faster than the Optimus, and has actually demonstrated this ability to run 
on video. The battery capacity of the Atlas is a little bit low at one hour. However, the payload capacity of the Atlas is higher than any other device at 25 kg, over 50 pounds. Now, the most impressive thing about the Atlas is the number of tasks that has been able to perform today. Well, we started by talking about who would win in a fight. And although we're gonna to get to number one shortly, I have to say that I think that even though the Atlas falls to number two, it would probably lose in a fight to number one. And that's because the Atlas has the most weight, it has the most power, and it has demonstrated the most agility. Atlas is probably the most powerful humanoid robot that's been released on the market to date, and Atlas has been specifically built with defense and military purposes in mind. Now, of course, there might be and will be plenty of other applications for the Atlas platform, but most or much of the funds that have resulted in the production of the Atlas have been from defense. So it's no surprise that Boston Dynamics Atlas is probably gonna beat the shit out of you. Which leads us to number one. Okay, who is number one on the humanoid robotics list? Well, this name may not be familiar to many of you, but soon will be familiar to most of you. Agility Robotics has released Digit, the standing height of 158 centimeters, a weight of around 45 kilograms, and a max speed of 1.5 meters per second. Agility's robot is not the strongest robot on our list, but it is, I would argue, the robot that's demonstrated the most functional tasks. Those functional tasks don't include running along monkey bars or doing backflips, but they do include the ability to be able to offload and onload boxes in storage warehouses and on shipping trucks. And it has demonstrated the ability to do this alongside human beings safely. So I'm not surprised that it has attracted the $150 million in investment that it has from someone like Amazon. Agility has a maximum payload of 15 kilograms and a light duty runtime of three hours. Three hours. That's three times the amount that Boston Dynamics Atlas has. The Agility Robot Digit has been built to be a worker. And even if it takes a punch, without a doubt, it's gonna be able to get back up and probably last longer than Atlas could. So with that, you now have our number one humanoid robot and our top three list.